All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Kermi Khan Communicate Season 2, Episode 10. In the last episode, we had the kind of finisher of the trip to Kyoto. Was it Kyoto? I believe it was. Um, to where, you know, everybody was just wrapping up uh, the whole trip. Uh, and then we kind of made our way back home on the train. Um, we had uh, Kato and... Kato and Ayumi, I believe, uh, were the two girls that were kind of in Komi's group. Uh, some kind of big bonding moments there between them. They seem like really cool characters and we look forward to seeing them return uh, whenever they do on the show. Um, and then the episode kind of ended off a really sweet thing of Komi like falling asleep on Tadano. Um, her waking up and obviously being as shocked as Tadano was, but Tadano was keeping his cool. Um, really cute. I love that. I love the relationship moments. And I'm just very excited for this next episode. So, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, yeah, even though she's like comfortable with them, is she going to continue to be comfortable with them this time? <laughs> Aww. 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 Friends making friends. Being good friends. That's all this show is about. <laughs> the sword. She had her parents call them. <laughs> Aw. Everybody's socializing. Feels good. Who's this random in the back with a mask? I feel like he's relevant. Makoto, the JoJo character, has arrived. Oh, and it's the dudes from the, the baths? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the corrupted people of the class. Normal Kumi. Negative Kumi. Positive Kumi. Whatever happens, happens Kumi. I love that. Negative Kumi 2.0. She just needs that little push. Good job, Tadano. Oh, such a good supportive friend. You love to see it. The animation in this episode look, looks a little bit funky in some brains, but I don't mind. Just want to point it out. <laughs> I touched Komi-san's back. It was so slim and smooth. <laughs> this is sexual harassment. <laughs> oh god, god, I don't know. Preparing for Valentine's Day. Is this the first time we're getting a Valentine's Day segment in the show? I feel like I could, it could just be me thinking of different shows. Bro, the characters look so derpy this episode. <laughs> Today is a girl's night? Damn, that kind of hurts. Obviously, it's fine, but it kind of hurts to say. Aw, the big, the big sister trope. They're like, who the hell is this? Who the hell is this quiet being? Oh, such a kid thing to do. My god. Nothing will make you more confident than having annoying ass little siblings like this to take care of. God, this is a, this is a woman that can do anything. Wow. Brandy too? Hell yeah. <laughs> She's laid newspaper down. Lol. No, you're not allowed. Oh god, they're gonna ruin it. <laughs> it doesn't feel safe, lol. Oh, expert Komi. Let's go. Don't put your finger in, it's gross. Ew, no, please, God. Kids' fingers are so gross. <laughs> the two food snatches. <laughs> Why don't you talk? Kids are so blunt. <laughs> The two suddenly lost interest. Lol. Ah, she does have a beautiful voice. That's very sweet. Oh what? Oh, so they've they've made enough for chocolates and for this. <laughs> Cat ears. I love it. Oh, is this the older sibling or? Nichan, yeah. 
Oh, here we go, Valentine's Day. I wonder if she'll actually give something sad now. Look at their faces, bro. <laughs> so, Tad Nukun's locker. She's just gonna sneak it in? No, not gonna happen. Aw, <laughs> Tadano. Give that man some chocolate. Oh, welcome, Najimi. I haven't seen you all episode. You made that much just for Najimi? Najmi is such a scammer. I don't want to know what you put in your chocolate. Please someone have it tested. Please don't eat her chocolate. I'll never eat these. They're too good to be eaten. <laughs> she secretly wants some chocolates too. Yeah, until Komi gives you some chocolate. Yeah. She is super happy. <laughs> Makoto and Tadno. I wonder if Makoto, if Makoto said anything. Or, or made anything. <laughs> Come on, give it to him. That'd be so cute. Are you a maiden? <laughs> I like how he's playing along with it. He, she put it in his pants. Yeah. Okay. Are they made? Of, are they bullets? That's so cool. Oh my god! They weren't even real. I think they're talking bad about him. <laughs> Look at him. He's freaking out. He's proper freaked out, and the boys are so jealous. What does this mean? Oh, a boy who didn't get chocolate. Oh, Tadano, yours is going to be special, don't worry. That man's going to be depressed. Give him his chocolate. Oh, give this man some chocolate, please. Oh. Hey, good job, Makoto. Gomi, come on. A stone? From my girlfriends? He's just gonna cry himself to sleep. Oh, no. That's so sad. <laughs> so dramatic, but I get why he feels left out. The chocolate your mum gives you doesn't count. Yeah. I've never seen Tadno so depressed. Look at him. Oh, no. Wait, what's happening? Why is she going so extra into this? Oh, it's Komi. Did he just knock her in the face? Oh, God. Where you hit yourself. Um, you kind of hit her with the door, but she was just lingering. What the hell is this? Work from school? Flash representatives. This man. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna cry. Kermi! The chocolate is just in her bag. Why has she not done it? Come on. Boy, you ain't even been to the store yet. Oh, if she heard that. Wow, he shouted. No, you don't need the book. Come on. Come on, Kumi. Oh, you've just made his life. You've saved his life, Kumi. <laughs> A friend's chocolate. You could have let that out. <laughs> Aww. Specifically, chocolate from you. I like how he admits these things out loud, even if Kami doesn't freaking get it. 
<laughs> what is this? Get away from me. Stop. Is the best one. Aww. <laughs> Be safe, Komi. Alright, so that was Komi Can't Communicate Season 2, Episode 10. Uh, that episode looked a little funky uh, in a lot of in a lot of places. It kind of gave off the like kind of background character like South Park or Rick and Morty, any kind of episodes where it's just like it looks a bit derpy. Um, but it works for this kind of show. Obviously, it was probably a one-off, different director or stylized for some reason, or it could have just been outsourced. But it's fine. It works for this kind of show. It's comedy. It works. Um, it's nothing to complain about. There's no you know heavy action scenes or anything like that. Yeah, really cool episode. Uh, I really enjoyed that she did actually manage to give that to, uh, to Tadano. Didn't need the book to say to him, you know. She kind of just got it together, ran back to him, made his day a thousand times, le- a thousand times better, like he said. Um, and I'm just, yeah, I'm really happy to see that from both of them. Um, and she even gave him a special one, even though she called it French chocolate, it, she gave him the special one. So that's sweet. Um, even Makoto gave, uh, Tadano chocolate, which is nice as well, because nobody else did. <laughs> um, not even Najimi, not, not even Najimi couldn't give him one little chocolate like she gave to Komi, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, Tadano will remember that. But, um, yeah, overall a very good episode and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day and peace out.